Ever wondered what it's like to fly a tractor over farmland and treetops at 200 kilometres per hour? Well, here you go. This is the view from inside the cockpit of an American-made air tractor, a plane purpose-built for agriculture. Here, it zooms above Riverina farmland, sowing rice onto wet fields below. It flies just 25 metres above the ground, high enough to pass safely above the trees. But the pilot is flying low enough, fast enough, and at a uniform height, to ensure that the rice drops in the right spot. I've been doing it for about 20 years, and got into it, I like most of the guys in the game, easy, had a love affair with aeroplanes as kids, and uh, it seems like a, a more interesting way to make a living than fine airliners and that kind of thing around, not really interested in doing that, and uh, having a bit of affinity with the, with the rural sector I guess. My background's a farm mechanic before I started flying. Patchett's work takes him all around Australia, from sowing cotton in Queensland and New South Wales to sowing rice in the Riverina and spraying crops across the grain belt. It's a job that requires great skill, calm nerves and extensive training. Especially here, the property is home to dozens of tall trees. No, they're no problem, you can see them. So it's the hazards that you can't see, like power lines and dead trees that you've got to be careful and watch out for. From the ground, the work looks exciting. But the experienced pilot says today's assignment is pretty much run of the mill. It's windy this time of year being the equinoxes, so it's always a little bit harder. But uh, they handle it really well. So I try and sit on top of the trees uh, on this block, try and keep your height uniform so the swath stays the same, rather than ducking down and pulling up. Uh, as opposed to spraying, you normally got the wheels pretty much just off the crop. It only takes around five minutes to sow one tonne of rice and the reloading, like a pit stop in a motor race, is done very efficiently and touchdown to takeoff can sometimes be less than two minutes. This land is owned by farmer Ian Rhodes. He says he's afraid of heights and is happy to watch the highly skilled flying from the ground. It's a job that only a few people can do I think. You know, it's a very risky job as you can see with, with the trees and that that's in the paddocks. Very risky. Um, yeah, I wouldn't like to be in the plane with him. There's uh, 82 hectares of rice going in now, and like it's going to, as you can see, it's only going to take him probably less than two hours to do the job. With this area, you need to you need to sow it with a plane. If you sow it with a tractor and then let your water on, it takes too long for it to to germinate and come up. Patchett admits that aviation has risks but says agricultural work like this can be done safely with proper planning, discipline and care. It's as safe or as dangerous as you want to make it. Uh, a lot of discipline involved with it. So plenty of guys have uh, had lifelong careers out of it and retired satisfied. But yeah, there, there, there are accidents. We've all lost a few close friends over the years. With the last load of rice being fed into the hopper of the air tractor, Patchett has time to ponder his favourite kind of agricultural flying. Oh, spraying for sure. The cotton spraying, yeah. It's probably going to get much better than that. Normally not too many power lines in the paddocks. Um, normally uniform paddocks, not too many trees. Um, yeah, and it's quite satisfying work, buzzing across the ground at 125 knots, a couple of feet off the ground, I suppose. Yeah. Just another day's work in Australia's food bowl.